Hello my lovely art tribe, let's make this beautiful set that my brother actually came up with in this video. Now I'm going to give you a full tutorial on all the steps we have taken and all the materials, where you're going to get them from. Everything is going to be linked in the description of this video. A lot of the items are from Amazon. Now once again, if you see my brother's arms in this video, which you are and you haven't seen my most recent videos, you'll know that my brother is starting to learn with me in my studio. So we would really, really appreciate the support. So go ahead and leave a comment and make sure you watch those other videos. Now, of course, you guys know this. I always use the Moss Epoxy's Flag Resin with the Medium Hardener. Now, you can also get the Slow Hardener if you want a little bit more working time. Now, the reason I love the flag system so much is that it has low viscosity, it cures quickly, it holds less bubbles, and especially around this time of the year where it's warmer, it actually cures faster than it already does, which means you can do multiple layers a day. Now, before we got started, we went ahead and we cut up all those little inserts, the little leaves beforehand, just so that we don't waste time while we're working. And a quick little tip for you, anytime you put any kind of inserts in your mold, you wanna put them in at an angle. So you start at one angle and you slowly bring it down to the other, and this helps you avoid bubbles underneath your inserts. Also a little reminder, if you do wanna try the Moss Epoxy's resins, you can use code Annie's Art, all one word, for discounts and free shipping. So right over here, we're going to use the pinata inks from Jacquard Products, the Rich Gold and the Blanco. And my favorite silicone oil is the 3-in-1. Now the 3-in-1 silicone, I can't find it on Amazon lately, but you can get it at any hardware store. I usually get mine at Home Depot. So we went ahead, we put a couple of dots of the white, we put the gold in the middle, and then we went ahead and added the silicone oil. Now, very important, we are going to wait until this layer is fully, fully cured before we add the back color. And before you add the back color, you want to take a paper towel you're going to spray some isopropyl alcohol on it and you're going to wipe down any of that excess oil because the oil in the middle could separate your layers after that cures and since i know you guys are going to ask for the first layer i add about 160 grams and afterwards for the back i find about 220 grams to be safe for you to be able to cover all of the back without being short on resin Now for the dotting process, I love using these little bottles. I have them linked once again in my Amazon storefront, so they will be in the description of this video. I add a low viscosity paint, which means it's a looser paint, so it's easier for me to add into the bottles. And I will add a couple drops of water at a time to it until the paint is flowing very easily through my bottle and dotting is a breeze. So when it comes to the resin, you know that I love Moss Epoxies and you know that they have a lot of different systems. I don't only just use the flag and the medium, I love their tabletop for top coats. They have the Art Pro, which gives you about an hour and UV protection on your pieces for top coats as well. You can actually also use those resins in molds too. Now, if you wanna try them out, go ahead and use code Annie's Art, A-N-N-I-E-S-A-R-T, all one word and you will get discounts and free shipping. And that also helps me out a lot too.
this beautiful set is now available on my website once again linked in the description of this video my friends i hope you guys learned i hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any other questions please leave them in the comments and i will get to every single one of you me and my brother both appreciate you guys for your support for watching for commenting and all the love you guys have been showing us so far i hope you guys have a wonderful day and keep creating and we will see you guys soon bye now